guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be doing a very highly requested video all about how I edit my Instagram pictures. So recently I've been trying to create kind of like a theme and a very aesthetically pleasing vibe to my Instagram account and a lot of you guys have noticed and are dying to know how I achieve this. So it's actually, I won't say it's easy because in the beginning it is a little bit difficult and there's a bit of a learning curve, but the more you do it, uh, the easier it gets, the quicker it gets. So I wanted to share with you guys my little tips and tricks and my favorite apps for editing pictures. So I will show you guys like an in-depth tutorial, but first I wanted to put a little disclaimer that I'm not like a professional photographer. Literally 99% of my photos on my Instagram are just taken with my iPhone. I don't really know jack shit about cameras, to be honest. Uh, I literally just turn on my camera and I don't really know anything about it. So I'm not a photographer, I'm not like a digital graphic designer, so I don't really know like the professional correct terms for things. I'm just showing you guys what I know and what I have kind of taught myself. With that being said, I will first mention the top three apps that I use for editing pictures, and then I will get into the tutorial itself. So the three apps that I like to use are Lightroom, Snapseed, and Facetune. So sometimes I only use two out of the three, but usually I use all three, which seems kind of like a lot, but... I mean, this is my job, so I don't really mind. So those are the three apps you're gonna need to achieve this look. So let's get into the tutorial. So first off, I go to my photography little folder that I have on my phone. So these are my photography apps. I like to have them all in one place. So I'm just gonna go to Lightroom first, and then I just created a little album for how I edit my pics. So let's take this one. And so this is the raw photo off of my phone. It doesn't look bad, but we want it to look better, obviously. So I'm going to go over to where it says presets. So I've purchased a few presets from one of my favorite bloggers. Her blog is Hello Fashion Blog or something like that. I will link the exact thing and how to buy the presets, but I've bought a few of hers. I think you get like three for like 20 bucks or something like that. Some are really crazy expensive, but that one I thought was pretty affordable. So it comes with three. So I've kind of just created my own like based off of those. I don't know how to share them with you guys. If I did, I would share them with you guys. Um, but anyways, so you can see that there's a bunch. So you can have this one. It makes you look very tan. Then this one is I call pool because it like ups the blues. This one is peachy because it looks peachy. And then here's one called California. And then I'm just going to use this one because I like the vintage vibe that it has. So I'm just going to save that. And then what you can do is play around with how dark or how light it is. So if you want it to be a little bit brighter, you can change the exposure. So I like it a little bit brighter. So I think that's good. You can change the contrast. If you want things to be more harsh, I usually don't like playing around with the contrast too much. So you can also change highlights. So as you can see, when you do this, whatever is bright to begin with is just going to get even brighter. So I don't really do a whole lot with that for this particular photo, but you can definitely change around with that. It's definitely gonna make you look more tan sometimes as well. But the next shadows obviously is gonna create more shadows or less shadows. And then whites obviously is gonna make the whites either whiter and brighter or not so white at all. So we'll just keep that around here. And then blacks for me, I have dark hair, so this like kind of makes my highlights stand out more or less and as you can see the steering wheel becomes blacker or less black so we'll just put it like around here so you can see my highlights pop then you can go to color which you can change the temperature which that makes it a little bit more cool toned this will make it a little bit more vintagey and yellowy and I'm just gonna leave it a little bit towards like the the middle we'll have it at 13 the tint is very similar you can just change the tint of it Ooh, that looks crazy. Um, the tint is very like sensitive, so I wouldn't really do a whole lot with that. Vibrance, obviously. If you want things to be more vibrant, up the vibrance, but I don't really do a ton with that. And then, of course, saturation. If you want things to be more faded or more saturated. But then I'm going to go to color and show you guys how you can change the color of things specifically. So, for example, let's take the blue. So my shorts are blue. If I change the hue, it's going to make the color of the blue and the jeans like a little bit different. So you can make it more turquoise or more like true blue. 
or you can make it more saturated. So it's fun to kind of just play around with the colors because if you don't like the color of something, you can usually change it. Um, luminance makes it brighter. So as you can see, the jeans look brighter or darker. You also can change the saturation of that as well. So if you want it more faded, I like the look of it more faded. Also, green is a fun one to play around with, especially if there's any like trees or leaves in the background. You can change the tone of them so you can see it's like more green or more teal. You can make it more saturated, less saturated, brighter, darker. So I just wanted it a little bit more bright in the background. So I upped the luminance. Luminance? Is that how you say that? I have no idea. <laughs> and then orange. Orange is a big one for skin tone. So if you want to look more tan, obviously you can up the saturation, but just be careful with it. So you can change the hue as well if you want it to be more red toned or yellow toned. You can also go to detail and change the noise reduction. So that's going to like smooth things out if you like that look. As you can see, it made kind of like my skin look smoother and everything looked very smooth. So there's no noise, but I don't really like that, but you can do that if you would like. Then I'm just going to save that to my camera roll and take it to the next app. So I'm gonna take it to Snapseed. So then for Snapseed, I like to go to the portrait. So this is where you can smooth your skin a little bit if you want it to be a little bit smoother. Just don't go overboard, else you'll look like a Play-Doh figure. Then you can change the eye clarity. So if you want your eyes to look a little bit brighter, you can change the eye clarity. You can also put a spotlight on your face. So if you want to brighten up just your face a little bit, you can do that. But um, then for this, I like the grainy film. So this is a really good one for creating that like vintage vibe. So the ones I like the best are the ones that start with the X. So I'm going to take X. Let's take X4. And I'm going to turn down the strength of that. And I'm also going to turn down the graininess because it's a little bit too grainy. So, just like that. Overall, you can change the brightness of this as well. So if you want a little bit brighter, ambiance will make your subject a little bit warmer, which I'm not gonna do. You can change the warmth, make it a little bit cooler. One other thing that I like to do in Snapseed is I will go to Details, which you can change the structure, which the structure is gonna make everything a little bit more clear. So if you can see that looks like a little bit sharper and more clear, you can also sharpen it if you want. So that's just gonna make things look a little bit more crisp, crispy, cream, donuts. <laughs> so I just am gonna save that. You can save a copy so you don't lose the original. Then I'm gonna go into Facetune. And Facetune is good if you want to tune your face, obviously, but I don't really use it for that. What I like to do is I go to Details, and then you just run your finger over anything that you want to accentuate and make pop. So for example, I'll do it over my necklace. You can do it over the coffee, over the Gucci belt, over the bracelet sunglasses, wherever you want something to be accentuated, you can run it over your hair. And yeah, it's really easy to do that. And for smooth, you can obviously smooth your face and stuff if you want to. I'm not really going to do that, but uh, you could use it to smooth out your shirt if you didn't want any wrinkles or something like that. But I don't really use the smooth one very often. So yeah, I'm just going to save that. So here is the original. There's nothing wrong with it. It just doesn't look that fun or exciting or cool. And then here is the after. So before, after. Looks okay. Looks all right. Looks like she's having a good time with her coffee. Wow, she's having a great time with her coffee in this one. Like, she looks so fun and exciting and vibrant and cool. So basically... All this tutorial was is trying to make your pictures look cooler than they really are and make your life look cooler than it really is. So that's just what Instagram is really all about, I think. So, but anyways, I hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. Give it a thumbs up and make sure to follow me on Instagram if you're not following me already. So yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.